Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make swim trunks for kids using a free swim trunks sewing pattern. I have been making um, swim trunks for my kids for years. I love that they are a simple and quick and easy sewing project and I have kind of been um, testing a sewing pattern for a while to make sure that I like the fit and everything works and I finally have that pattern ready for you. You can get the free pattern, the link is in the description. Um, the great thing is, so it works, it, the sizes start at three months and goes all the way up to size 10. They are all elastic waist. All of the baby and toddler sizes are just shorts and they do not have a liner on the inside because um, a baby or toddler is going to be wearing a diaper. For sizes three to 10, there is um, a liner for the inside that's kind of like a little underwear piece that is great for the inside of the swim trunks. So in this video, I show you how to make the shorts and the liner. If you are doing the baby size and you don't need the liner, then you can just use the shorts instructions and skip the liner. My family goes swimming a lot in the summer, so my son actually needs multiple swim trunks because we go swimming almost every single day. And while one is drying, there needs to be another one that he can wear. I can't wait to share this project. So let's get started. For this project, you are going to need board short fabric. It's also sometimes called like a microfiber woven fabric. Um, I only know of it being available at Raspberry Creek Fabrics and the Fabric Fairy. Those are online shops and I will link them in the description. You also need some like Trico swim lining and that is for like the larger sizes and then you are going to need the free pattern, which you can get on my blog. The link is in the description. For the larger sizes, you have the lining and the outer piece. And for the baby sizes, you just have the shorts piece. So the first thing you are going to do is you're going to lay out your fabric on the fold so that the wrong sides are together. Then you're gonna place the shorts piece on top. Um, this way we get a mirrored, uh, two mirrored shorts pieces and we're going to cut them out. Now you're going to lay out your um, lining fabric, your knit lining fabric, and you're going to fold it and line up this edge, this long straight edge with the fold. Place it on and then you're going to cut it out. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to place our shorts pieces right sides together matching up at the top and the sides and we are going to so we are going to pin and so this front and back curve. Now you're going to sew both of these seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and a back stitch when you start and when you stop. So now you are going to open up the shorts so that the front and back seams are laying on top of each other. And now you can see that um, this is the inseam and we <laughs> are placing the inseam together, right sides together. And then when I um, put these seams together, I actually like to have one seam allowance pointing this way and then the other seam allowance pointing the other, the opposite way so that you reduce the bulk. So pin these layers together and then we're going to sew this inseam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and back stitch when you start and when you stop. 
Make sure that you finish the edges. I forgot to mention that when you do the center front and the center back. I actually just finished it with a serger, but you can also do it with a zigzag stitch. Once you have the inseam sewn, you can turn the swim trunks right side out. And then we are going to hem the bottom. So fold up the hem. You want the seam allowance to face the back of the leg. And then fold up the hem allowance half an inch twice and pin that in place and then you'll sew around each leg Now you're going to take your lining piece, which you can see is the front and the back. Um, this is connected so you don't get any annoying seams down here that would be uncomfortable. So take the front and place it right sides together on the back. And we're going to pin these two edges together and then you're going to sew these with a zigzag stitch or a serger and you are going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. Now we're going to put elastic into these leg openings. You can find the elastic guide um, in the blog post. But what we're going to do, you can see I have this piece, it's a little bit smaller. Um, think about when these short, or when this lining is being worn, this seam allowance is going to be facing the inside of the um, swim trunks, because you, you don't want this to be up against the skin of your child. So you want this leg opening to fold towards the wrong side or the side that is not going to be touching the um, skin of your child. So if I have this opening and I'm going to be pinning it on this side, you can um, overlap these ends and zigzag, zigzag them in place if you want if you think that will make it easier, but you're lining up the elastic right along the edge and pinning it in place. And then you are going to, essentially you're dividing the elastic and the leg opening into four. And then matching up each of those sections so that um, the elastic will be evenly distributed around the opening of the leg. So you're, as you sew, you can see how there is more fabric than there is elastic. So you're going to have to stretch the elastic to fit the, the fabric. And I just kind of hold it like this and let the machine feed it through. I'm actually having my right hand in the front and my left hand in the back as it's feeding through. And I just do a zigzag stitch all the way around to get the elastic attached. And you're gonna do that to both legs.
Once you have the elastic zigzagged on, I like to fold it down one more time and then zigzag it again from this side and that just makes it a lot more comfortable so that the elastic is right. It's not right up against your skin, it's in between two layers of fabric. Now we're going to take the lining and we are going to put it inside the shorts. Make sure that the side that will be touching the skin is um, on like facing inside. So you want the wrong side of the lining to face the wrong side of the trunks. So you're going to slide it in here just right at the top. Now, eventually this is going to have elastic that's going to fold over and cover the top of this edge. So you don't need to finish the top edge of the lining. But what you're going to do, we don't want it to be so bulky under the elastic. And so what we're going to do is we are going to pin the lining in and you're going to do it three fourths inch from this top waist edge. And you're going to pin the lining in all the way around um, just below the top. And we're going to sew with a straight stitch just attaching this top. It doesn't matter if it's a straight stitch um, onto the knit fabric because eventually we're going to do the elastic and um, so that straight stitch won't be like it's not going to be pulled tight to like pop a stitch. Now cut the elastic to the right length. Um, I My favorite way is to just put elastic on my child's waist and see how tight it needs to be. I will say um, having a, like swim trunks that is a, it's an easier chance for them to be pulled off. I actually make the elastic a little extra tight like even smaller by two inches or something just so that I mean, you don't want the swimsuit to fall off in the water. So you're going to take the two short ends of the elastic and overlap them by half an inch and pin that in place. Then we're going to sew a rectangle around or do some zigzag stitches to hold that in place. Now we are going to put pin the elastic in. So essentially you divide the elastic into four sections and then you divide the um, waist into four sections and match up each of those sections so that the um, elastic is divided evenly around the waist. You want to make sure this edge of the elastic is matching up with the top edge of the, um, the waist.
now that the elastic, you can zigzag it in. That's what I did first and then I surged it. You don't have to surge it. I was just doing that to make this edge soft and a little more comfortable. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold this um, elastic over so it's all tucked inside and you are going to zigzag it like this edge down. Um, I'm going to sew from the front and make sure that you stretch as you sew so that um, you keep the stretch of the elastic and then um, it will just squeeze up like that once you've sewn it in. The swim trunks are essentially done, but I like to do two more things to just um, make my child feel like, you know, it's extra special. So I take like a shoelace or ribbon or anything like that, and I actually just, I find the middle like this, and then I tie like a simple bow. and you know smooth it out a little bit make it look like it's a real drawstring pull it tight and then once it's tied just like this so it's just one simple bow um, i put it on the front like this this is the front of the swim trunks and then i go through make sure that you're strings are in the wrong, right place. So I just kind of sew a stitch on this side and sew on this side so that the um, knot can co not come undone, but it just looks like a drawstring. It's not functional, um, but it makes my kids feel like it's real shorts. It helps them see which side's the front so they never put it on backwards. Then I also like to take a tag and I put it on the back waistband and just sew it in and that also helps them find which is the front and the back of the shorts but then you know it's just a little extra special and then they see that every time they put the shorts on. Once you have those sewn in, your swim trunks are finished and they are ready to go swimming. And that's how you make swim trunks using a free swim trunks sewing pattern. I can't wait to see all of the swim trunks that you make. Please check out these playlists with all the videos that explain how to make my free sewing patterns and um, summer sewing projects. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.